Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive. <clears throat> so finally, we got everything back together now, as you can see, it's nice and clean again. This is a massive job, it was carried out uh, because the only reason why we couldn't, the, the hardest thing is trying to find something that you can't see. And the leak was only coming on only when the car is hot. When the car is really, really hot, then you have a little bit of coolant come down. We put the pressure tester on a few times, no leak whatsoever. Uh, so we had to actually drive it and drive it and come back hot, put on the hoist a couple of times and then to check all the, the radiators, the coolant pipes, the turbo pipes, everything we can actually get our hand on from underneath and on the side here or on the back of the gearbox here, as you can see. Um, it's, now we just couldn't find the leak so we decided to just actually strip everything down, as you can see everything's back together now. We actually stripped every single one down, all of this was out actually on the previous video I showed so we can get it done properly as you can see so now we've got the actual um, vacuum evacuation uh, this is a vacuum uh, tool that we actually uh, suck the actual air out of the system by using a vacuum uh, tool and then we're gonna force the actual coolant into the system uh, into the car because the vacuum is gonna actually suck the coolant in when we open the valve all right so just a quick video to show you where we are and then uh, we'll put the intake on and we're going to start it up, get it hot and then we'll actually uh, double check everything later on tomorrow morning and the customer can pick it up. Alright, so now we're going to do that for, and then we're going to actually do another video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.